As Paul stepped into the silence of his apartment, he could feel the melancholy of Paris wrapping around him. Looking around, it suddenly occurred to him, there really was no one else here. He was alone. He had traveled 10,000 miles to pursue something that no one could ever prove had actually happened, only to end up back where he'd started with even less than what he began. And he couldn't help recalling the equation on the back of the card. e to the power of i times pi plus 1 equals 0. It was as if he had lived through a mathematical equation. Every step he'd followed had been choreographed. And as Paul began to mentally trace his journey backward, he could visualize the trail he'd followed. It was a spiral based on a golden number that occurred naturally in the universe. His wife had implanted it into his subconscious to lead him to her, and then left him standing there with nothing, with zero. And the emptiness he was left with is what ultimately jarred him out of stagnation. In that moment, he understood you don't always know what you have until you no longer have it. And he knew that now, in a way that he hadn't just four minutes and 15 seconds ago. <coughs> this was the story of a man named Paul Byrne and 144 liters of water and an egg timer. In the days that followed, Paul contemplated the journey he'd traveled in that four minutes and 15 seconds. He thought about his wife and what it felt like to lose her. And as he stood there watching her sleep, he wondered if she purposely left that strange little math book in view every night, hoping to reach out and trigger his subconscious the way that it did. Maybe he would never know. He did know that his writer's block was finally over. And he was glad that she was beside him. <laughs>